We have the generator out of the bus because we're working on the plumbing. While we have it out, we're going to do some preventative maintenance on it. That preventative maintenance is adjusting the valves. That's a rather large job. Adjusting the valves itself is very easy, but getting to the valves is the big part of the job. So we're going to show you how to do this on a Kubota 6500S low boy, as they call it. Uh, similar Kubota generators will have the same amount of work to get to the valves and adjusting the valves is similar, so I thought we'd make a video of it. So adjusting the valves, as you saw, we took all the front end of the generator off, making sure that we had easy access. Having the radiator here and the radiator fan, this wouldn't be easy to do. And it only took us about 20 minutes to take everything off, so it's 20 minutes well spent. The valves, in this case, this is a ZB600 two-cylinder Kubota engine, or the GL6500S generator. The specs on the valves are six thousandths of an inch on this one, but do check your manual to make sure you're using your specs, not mine. The spec is six to eight thousandths, or six thousandths, sorry, five to seven is the spec, so I'm going with six. And as you can see, this is a eight thousand, let's see what it's at at the moment. Let's try a ten. So ten thousand feeler gauge fits in. Go to 12, 12 fits in. So they were a little bit out of adjustment. Let's go for 14. So the 14, yeah, the 14 still goes in actually quite easily. So they were more than double the adjustment. To adjust it, it's very simple. First of all, you make sure that the rocker that you're working on isn't compressing the valve. And the easiest way to do that is to compress the other valve. So you see the, the valve here is compressed and you just turn the engine over by hand slowly. So this valve is coming up. It's a four stroke engine. So we have a bit of compression here. Let's my lovely assistant to turn it slowly. And now you see this one going down. Once it's down all the way, we're guaranteed that this one, very good. All right, no, it's for main tool bit. Very good, very good. It's too slow, right? Yeah, she's going a little too quick. So, no, low ball, tranquil man. Okay, so this valve is open all the way, which means this one is closed all the way. Now to adjust it, very simple, screwdriver, 10 millimeter wrench. We loosen the locking nut off and we adjust in the valve like that. We get our appropriately sized feeler gauge, put it between the two till you just have a bit of draw on the feeler gauge. Now this is a go, no go gauge, meaning that I had the six thousandths there, but it won't go into the eight thousandths portion. So as long as it doesn't go into the eight, but the six still moves freely, we know we're in the right spot. And we hand tighten the nut, making sure we don't change the adjustment with the screwdriver. Tighten that into place. Check it again. So the go is good, but the no go doesn't go in. So now we have proper adjustment. 
we have the other four valves to do and we put it all back together. So again, very simple, easy job to do, but you need to take a few things off. If uh, this engine were in the other direction and we had access to the side, adjusting your valves would be maybe a 10 or 15 minute job. It's gonna take us two hours to do once we're all done. And while we're here, changing the um, radiator fluid, changing the oil, getting the generator ready for the season.